Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. Today we are going to try cotton bacon with the VAP cap. This was suggested by one of the viewers, Brett. Thank you very much, we're gonna give it a try. I looked online to see how you would actually do this. He said in his comment to wrap your hash in the wool and just put it in. So we're gonna do that. I didn't see another video that showed you anyone doing it, so let's see, right? This is an experiment, baby. So. We've got our VAP cap right here. We open it up, uh, double checking it is clean. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and let's open this up. I've never, um, I've never got this before, right? The, the, the cotton bacon. Why is it called cotton bacon? Does it taste like bacon? I mean, as far as I understand, it's just cotton, right? So let me show you on this camera right here. It's just cotton, huh? So why is it called uh, bacon? Or why is there bacon in the name? And I don't know, we're just gonna take off a piece I don't know how much we uh, is gonna fit in here, but I guess ideally what we're going to do, and hopefully this fan isn't bothering you guys, but I'm sweating like crazy, so if I don't have it on, it's just gonna be a pool right here. <laughs> so we've got some hash in here. I don't even know what this is from. I just have miscellaneous hash laying around in several places, huh? Anyway, so we're just gonna take like a piece. I don't even know how big, like maybe a decent sized piece like this, right? That's a pretty big piece. That's probably not what I would even put if I wasn't putting it in the wool, but let's see how the wool works. I don't know. Um, maybe we need a, a cutter, right? Hold on. We do still have this X-Acto blade because we started another video, actually. That's why I'm wearing the same shirt, which maybe we'll, I'll release it tomorrow. But it's we're going to bling out the homemade bong that we uh, used with some glitter. And I did the first part. It's drying right now with spray paint. It needs to dry for 24 hours. So I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing in that, right? However, tomorrow we should finish that, hopefully, and maybe we'll get it up tomorrow, right? So I guess all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here, this piece, and I'm gonna wrap it in this wool. Maybe this is too much wool, right? So half of this, maybe? I'm not, like, I'm not positive, right? And be very careful you don't cut yourself, guys. I give this disclaimer because there's some dumbass people out there, and I'm not saying anybody who's watching this is a dumbass, but people eating Tide Pods and shit like that, don't do it! <laughs> don't kill yourself, right? I mean, like, what's wrong with these fools? Anyway, so we're gonna take this, we're gonna wrap the hash inside the wool, right? And then we're gonna, hopefully it's gonna fit it here. It may or may not, right? Because this is quite a bit. Ugh. I don't know, let's see, does the cap go on? It kinda does. I mean, it's a bit, it's snug as hell though, right? I mean, if you look, it's like protruding at the top, but maybe that's okay, right? And I couldn't find my vac cap lighter, so we're gonna either use this crazy torch or a regular lighter. I think the crazy torch, but it gets a bit hot, right? So let's see how this all works out, right? So we're gonna light it for a few seconds, let it click. We'll probably let it go a second past the, the sound of the click. You may or may not hear because this fan's on, but we're gonna keep rotating this. If you wanna know more about how to smoke with one of these uh, vac caps, check out one of my other videos about them. Let's just get going and see how this puppy hits, baby. It just clicked, as so maybe like that, right? I don't, oof, wow, the taste was pretty good right there, but I didn't get a big hit, so let's keep it going. Maybe a couple more seconds. Now, we didn't let it totally cool. Wow, the taste is fantastic. I mean, this is good hash, <laughs> but the taste is fantastic. I don't taste any bacon. <laughs> I don't know, like, why is it called bacon? It just clicked. Let's tap it. There we go. Let's hit it one more again, baby. There it clicked. One 1,000, two 1,000, we'll say three 1,000, baby. Woo!
I wonder, <coughs> something got in my mouth. I wonder if something passed through. It shouldn't have been the hash because it's wrapped up in that, that cob, but maybe it was from a previous hit or something like that. I have to say, so, so far, I'm digging this uh, cotton bacon, but the question is, <coughs> when I take this out, is it gonna be a mess or is it not gonna, because presumably if there's no mess, then this is the ticket, baby, because you're not, I'm not getting any flavor of, I, mean, I don't know what wool would taste like, right? I don't typically, anyway, this is not wool, but I don't typically eat my shirts or clothing, what else would I have that's wool, right? Now I have cotton bacon, but typically, I suppose it would just be clothing. And so I don't know what it would taste like, but pff, you don't get any taste. And by the way, what I'm doing with this hand is putting it over the, the hole right here. Let me show you. And this will allow you to restrict the airflow. And by restricting a little bit of the airflow, you're going to heat up more of the material. You're going to get a bigger hit, etc. You don't want to cover it, so you're totally restricting the airflow. That makes it too hard to suck. But... Yeah, let's hit it one more time, baby. And then we're gonna open it up and see uh, what's good, what's good. It just clicked, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, what? We're playing with fire, huh? Ah, it's, uh, <coughs> I have to say, it hits really nice with this cotton. It's like, it's almost like it's not there. And I suppose that's supposed to be the scenario, right? So we're gonna tap it a few times. It's probably too hot right now to take off. So maybe what I'll do is <coughs> I'll just shut up and then I'll wait a few seconds. We'll cut it when this is no longer hot and I can open it. All right, so it's for sure still hot, you know. <laughs> I should wait longer, but you know, I don't have any patience. So let's try to pop this off with my trusty ice pick, which I never use for ice, by the way. <laughs> if you watch the channel, you know, this is like, uh, it's not exactly a home protection device. I just have this, uh, it does a lot of things for me. Now look at the cotton, right? That's some dirty ass cotton, right? But did it just make it so that nothing else inside has anything? I mean, look at this, it's flawless inside, right? And then this is the cotton ball, right? Now, presumably, I wonder if we can open this without getting burned too bad. Let's try it, baby. I wonder what the hash looks like inside, right? And probably I could have got another hit or so, but let's see. Ah, there we go. There's the hash. So I probably could have got another hit, two hits, something like that. But just for the video, we opened it up. I feel bad we're wasting a little bit of hash. Although we could just pop this back in, right? I think, let's try it, right? Recycling hash. I mean, for sure there's another hit or two in there. So if we press this back in, the cool thing is, I suppose the reason that you wanna get this because the way in my previous video, the way I was smoking hash out of this thing is I've got these, um, these little screens, right? Metal screens, I'm high. Anyway, <laughs> so I got these little metal screens and I cut them to be the size that would fit in here and then I basically had a secondary screen, which was disposable and I would throw it away. Obviously it took time to cut the screen and is that exactly perfect? No, because you know, maybe as it's melting, maybe it drips somewhere else, but this is like fully protected. It's fully in there, right? Let's take one more hit, baby. Woo! By the way, happy Friday, everybody. There it clicked. All right. Mmm. Well, that last hit is not the tastiest hit for sure. I wonder if because the cotton is already saturated or not. But the hits before this one were flawless. They were fantastic. Maybe because it, I gave it time to settle or something, or maybe because the cotton is really soaked, or, or I don't know. But anyway, I, I recommend this cotton bacon, baby. Look, and what the, f what is this logo, right? Look at this. What is that? It's cotton wrapped around 
a coil, that's what it is. I'm high. <laughs> it's by, yeah, yeah, anyways, who cares? We don't need to promote these guys too much. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna get this. I got them on Amazon, it's an affiliate link. You don't have to use it, but it'd be great if you did. However, uh, I think this is better than the screens, huh? So the previous video, I used the screens, like I said, yeah, I think this is better. And clearly I'm high <laughs> because, uh, you know, you could tell, right? Sometimes, in the, well, anyway, sometimes when I start the videos, I'm already high. But when I get even more high on the videos, you'll notice the change, the shift, right? Anyway, <laughs> so guys, have a good weekend. I hope you like this video. I know it's short and sweet. I probably made it way longer than it needed to be. Anyways, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby. Till next time, I'm out.